1963, the Museum of Gloucester received an enormous bequest from the estate of Stanley Marling, who lived at Littleworth House in Amberley in the Stroud Valleys, as well as many fine paintings and furniture and other antiques, was this item, which is a snuff rasp. Snuff was a very finely powdered tobacco mixed with flavourings that was inhaled rapidly up the nose. And this snuff rasp, which is made of ivory, was used for grinding dried tobacco leaves to create the foundation for the snuff. In Georgian and Victorian society, the wealthy would often consume vast quantities of red meat and alcohol. And if you exist on a diet like that for very long, cons the consequence is that it can cause your tongue to become very furred. So they used to use tongue scrapers to scrape at the back of the tongue forwards to the front of the mouth to remove the fur. Also, in Georgian society in particular, the wealthy classes would wear wigs, particularly gentlemen, and it was fashionable for those wigs to appear to be as white as possible. So they manufactured a special powder to put on the wigs to make them look white. And the powder was housed in powder flasks, which is what you can see here. This is also part of the Marling bequest. Thank you for watching this video clip, part of a series of video clips from the Virtual Museum of Gloucester.